Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson. Tonight, for more than two long years, the institutional left told us they knew exactly what the Mueller report would say. They said it would end the Trump presidency and save this nation. Congressman Adam Schiff, who sits on the Intel Committee and would know, gave us a preview. Schiff said that he had seen with his own eyes proof that the president of the United States colluded criminally with the government of Russia. BuzzFeed, a noted cat blog, said it had conclusive evidence that Trump obstructed justice. ABC News momentarily tanked stock prices when it reported that Trump had ordered his national security advisor to talk to the Russians, and so on. The Mueller report is going to prove all of these stories true. And then the report came out, and it turns out that none of it was true. It was all a lie. So how did the people who told and repeated those lies respond? Well, they could have done what decent people do. They could have resigned their jobs, tearfully apologize for misleading our country, and then move to Paraguay in shame. They could have done that, but they didn't. Instead, they did what they always do. They became more aggressive. They decided that actually the Mueller report vindicated everything they've been saying since 2016. It's all there. It's just being hidden by that dastardly attorney general, Robert Barr. William Barr. Whatever. Barr. Suddenly, Barr was right up there with Putin and George Papadopoulos as an enemy of the people. Are you talking about just having him sit for a hearing or, or locking him up somehow? I, you have to have him sit for a hearing, and I think you have to have him locked up and, unless he, he agrees to participate and come to the hearing. The House and the Senate, each chamber, has an inherent power to compel a witness to testify if that witness just refuses. And that includes arrest, and it even includes jail. The House is powerless unless the House takes some action. We have what's called inherent contempt proceedings, which means we send the sergeant of arms out to handcuff the individual okay. who is declining who to testify. Who are you going to handcuff? Well, I'm going to start with um, Mr. Barr. These people are fascists. Cuff him, lock him up, send him to jail. The man who's been attorney general for less than three months must be imprisoned for his crimes, whatever those crimes are, and the president must go on trial too. Now, you might think that being cleared of collusion by the Mueller report would be good news for Trump, but no. It just means he must be impeached. To invite a foreign power to participate in our elections, to obstruct justice and cover up during the investigation, there must be consequences, there must be accountability. We must get behind the House of Representatives if they pursue impeachment for this president. He almost wished his campaign wasn't over, that it would go on forever. So every night we get new clips of the hat and the bouncing and the hand gestures. So great. But did you hear what he said? He said, impeached, no matter what the cost, impeachment is a theological imperative. Watch. Are you concerned that impeachment talk may actually help the president's reelection? I'm concerned that if we don't impeach this president, he will get reelected. Impeach him before the people choose him as their president again. That's how democracy works. Now, watching all this, you might assume that the left has lost control of itself, and you would be half right. The Democratic base has been emotionally incontinent for quite some time. They're getting worse, not better, and you can thank the Internet for that. But the people who run the party are not crazy. They are coolly rational. They always have been. They want power. That's all they want, whatever it takes. These people don't throw fits unless it serves some higher political purpose. And this fit does serve a higher purpose. They're trying to divert attention from a much bigger story. Remember when Trump said the Obama administration had been spying on his campaign? The Democratic Party's bootlickers went absolutely crazy the second he said it. They rushed to the nearest television studio to mock the very idea. President Trump has a new favorite word, and every time he uses it, he is lying and that is the word spy his baseless claims of spies this so-called spy issue first of all there's absolutely no evidence there was a spy so it's really a fake issue he wants you to believe that his campaign was spied on and it's one of the worst things that we've ever seen from government i think looking back the vcr one of the great inventions in human history maybe fire the wheel the VCR, because it allows us to preserve people's claims on tape. 
and then play them back. The group you just saw were hysterical at the idea that Trump might believe there was spying on his campaign. They were, they were hysterical because they suspected it might actually be true. And now we know that it was. In fact, according to recent testimony from a high-ranking FBI official, the spying turned out to be far more expensive, extensive than Trump suspected. Even James Clapper had to concede that. Using undercover uh, agents is a uh, standard and legitimate technique that is widely used in, in investigations. Uh, that technique has been used to thwart a lot of uh, counterterrorism uh, plots in this country. So I'm sure, I mean, there are protocols and standard, standards for using a, an, an agent, and I'm sure that's the case here. Was, Was it theory? spying? Well, it, yeah, I, I guess it miss, meets the, defin, the dictionary definition of, spy, of, of surveillance or spying, a term I don't particularly like.